like you ever felt. Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What's up, y'all? I'm over at my uh, my folks, Chef Alley in the Valley's house. I just want to give a little live update on these veggie pods and see what's growing. Check that out. A full kale farm, curly kale, dark ibor to be exact. This is what you make your juices in, nice and green. No aphid pressure or low aphid pressure. We release ladybugs in there to keep the aphid pressure down. We've taken out uh, the majority of the the ones that are the, the leaves that are on the ground on the soil level and uh, tossed them just because they're turning yellow and they're blocking the aeration right we want to keep as much aeration as possible in there so check this out this is about 30 or so heads of kale enough juice and solid mix to last throughout the fall and the winter i'll probably uh replant this pot sometime in january february we'll be straight between now and then look at it super green in the beginning of october Fall season's kicked off, and the kale is super green, right? One of the most flavorful uh, leafy greens to juice is kale. But these guys eat it raw. You know, they eat it right off the, right off the, right off the, uh, right out of the veggie pot. It's all good. Veggie pot number three. We got some butter crunch lettuce. Look how beautiful this lettuce is, right? This is delicious. Perfect for. Salads, perfect for sandwiches. This butter crunch lettuce has gone to flour, right? So it's just about done. What I like to do is just pop them in half and uh, pop the flowers off and trick them into going back into the leaf production mode just to get a few more cuts out of the deal. But we'll probably pull these pretty soon. But look at that, no bugs, no aphid pressure, no worms, no caterpillars, nothing. Veggie pot locks it in. Pot number four, check this out. This one's filled with the nightshades. I'm talking eggplants. Check these out. Black Beauty eggplants, they're huge, all right? It's filled with them. Probably about 25, 30 eggplants, 100 or so tomatoes, black olive chili peppers, all right? This purple flower. For every flower, you're gonna get a purple uh, pepper. They're, they're semi-mild at this stage but once they turn red they're pretty hot so i like to pick them and eat them in the purple stage there's a red one that one's probably smoking cherry tomatoes down below all right all in the veggie pot self-watering self-contained system another pepper plant back here um ladybugs are intact as you can see again we install ladybugs to keep our aphid pressure down they lay eggs their eggs hatch and the hatched larvae eat the aphids. All right, guys, last but not least, veggie pie number six, probably the most productive one so far. Check it. This one's filled with Laciano, also known as Italian or elephant kale, spinach down below, basil, Swiss chard, right? Uh, red Russian kale, and there's some mother lettuce and arugula. This arugula is delicious. I mean, right off the off the bush, arugula. Um, it's getting a little congested. It's about time to harvest, right? And um, get some airflow going through here. So check it out, guys, the veggie pod. It's the beginning of October, so the fall season is here, and these things are still slamming. They're still producing, right? They're filled with water in the reservoir, and they get a little bit of a spray, maybe about one or two minutes every day. Other than that, the water is self-contained using the wicking technology. The roots are compacted down beneath the soil on top of the perlite. And uh, we can eat 24 seven year round in the backyard, no matter if you're in the desert, if you're in a winter climate with a lot of snow, doesn't matter. The veggie pod locks everything in and secures it and makes it available for you to enjoy your veggies. So go ahead and stop uh, taking that trip to the store, man, and get you a veggie pod. Promo code neighbor. Peace.